G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now, something that you may have seen uh, beginning to appear in Microsoft Teams is the ability to add Office applications as an app inside of Teams. So as we know, Microsoft Teams uh, is potentially the place where you start your work and we wanna try and do as much as we can without changing or switching context and stay in the flow of work. Now, one of the things that this is going to enable us to do is not have to switch out of the context of Teams to actually access our Word documents or our Excel documents or our PowerPoint documents because some of us like to start from the application itself. So let's jump in and have a look and see what this actually and the functionality that this provides us. So we can see here, I am in Microsoft Teams. I'm logged in as Megan. I've got my Teams list here, but where we go to add our new apps, what you're going to now see is the Office applications. So you can see here, I've got Word, I've got Excel and I've got PowerPoint here. You will notice that at the time of this recording, it is still in beta. So let's have a look at Microsoft Word. So let's add Word as an app. So you can see here that this gives us a, a home for all of our Word uh, documents inside of Microsoft Teams. And you can see we're presented with a fairly uh, um, familiar user interface here and it's fairly similar to that of the Office 365 homepage, but it's focused on Word documents. So we can see here, I've got my templates at the top. I've got the recommended documents here and you can see that Alex has created a task for me in this document. I've recently uh, opened this document here. I've got a listing of all of my documents that I've recently, uh, that have had some activity on them. I've got recently opened. I've got shared documents here, both by me and by other people that have shared documents with me. And I've got my favorite documents here as well. I've got some filters that I can um, filter through and find documents um, that I may need. So you can see here I can filter by activity or I can filter by time as well. And I've got the option here to actually upload documents. These are going to upload into my OneDrive as a default. Now, you'll also see that I've got the option and the ability here to hide these templates. And when I hide these templates, this button appears, I can create a new blank document or I can start a document from a template. Now, the good thing about this is when I start a new blank document, generally what may happen is that it starts in the root of your uh, of your OneDrive. So we wanna try and structure things. We wanna be able to make sure that this document resides in the right folder inside of my OneDrive. So one of the things that we can do in here, and by default, a new document starts with a, a document name of just document. So the first thing that I like to do here is just name our document. All right, so let's call this uh, Teams created document. And I don't want it just listed in a in the, the, the root of my uh, OneDrive. So I wanna create and I wanna move this document to its correct location. So let's make sure that we're set up first. So let's go to folder one, for example, open up folder one and I wanna move my document from there. So now when I open this document and I edit it, it's always saved to that location in the correct spot. Um, so we're setting up a, a really good foundation here. So we can then go ahead, make our changes to our document edit our document if we need to, uh, and then we are all good to go. All right, so let's just write some, some stuff in here. Uh, obviously automatically saving for us because we're in the, the online version here and we'll just close this. So you can see we're taken back to, I guess the home page of Word inside of Teams. All right, so um, a great way there for us to, if you are more inclined to go to the Word application to find a Word document or to start a Word document, or that's where you like to um, uh, land uh, in relation to, to document generation or document uh, or finding Word documents, then we can now bring that inside of Microsoft Teams. So now we don't need to go to another location. So we can, I, I haven't pinned this yet, but what we can do is also right click and we can pin that to the app rail as well. So now that it's always there. And we can do the same thing with these two other uh, Office applications here. So we can go to PowerPoint beta, we can pin that, and we can also do that to Excel. So now we've got three apps, we've got Word, we've got PowerPoint, um, which will give us the same UI, but different, uh, different Office application and the same thing in Excel. 
All right, so three new apps or Office apps that you can pin to your rail inside of Microsoft Teams, meaning that we can stay inside of Teams um, and uh, go to those applications directly. So thanks for watching. I hope that brings you some value and I'll see you in the next episode.